You might call one of the latest trends in the fashion world Muslim chic. Over the past two years, companies like Mango and DKNY have all released special Ramadan collections. From Chicago, Rosa Kazan reports on a niche market that is expected to be worth 327 billion U.S. dollars by 2020. This is definitely something I could see myself running. At a Western retail store, Miriam Sobs mulls over what she would wear as a Muslim woman. It's got the trend of the bright pop of color with that scarf there. I would totally wear that on my head. <laughs> Because of what's on her head, Sobs found her path to a media career blocked. So she started a Muslim fashion blog and YouTube channel, Hijab Trends. I was trying to get、uh, a career in television, and people kept telling me, "No, not until you take your scarf off. You cannot be on television." And I thought, "Well, I'm just going to make my own thing." That was 10 years ago. Sab now reports for a local radio station, and her blog gets over two and a half million hits a month. A reflection, she believes, of the growing power of the Muslim consumer. Fashion companies are now trying to catch up. They realize. How much money there is in this market? So, in the U.S., the Muslim consumer market is worth 170 billion dollars. Globally, it's in the trillions. In the coming decades, the Muslim population is expected to grow twice as fast as the global population. By 2050, nearly one in three people on Earth will be Muslim. So lucrative is this expanding market that in May Istanbul hosted the world's international modest fashion week. It was so important to have is to show the world that we're here to stay. Melanie El Turk, a lawyer by training, started her own online Muslim clothing company in 2010. The business began out of her own frustration in trying to dress modestly but fashionably. I would go to thrift stores and I would buy dresses from like the 70s and 80s. And then I would sew them into skirts because at that time it was impossible to find a long skirt. They just weren't in the market. Now she has over 300,000 followers on Facebook and Instagram, and her items sell out within hours. But for El Turk, it's more than just a business. What really did it for me was knowing that I could have a real impact on our community and help girls who wear hijab to feel more comfortable in it and to feel. Self-confident and to feel beautiful in, in hijab, and not to see hijab as a barrier. Nadia Pardesi is one of El Turk's regular customers. So I picked this outfit because I love this color. She says shopping now is a lot easier. It was always assumed that Muslim women just dressed in very plain and ordinary clothing, and that that's what modesty was. There wasn't a sense of style. Now the market realizes that we're a real consumer, and that. Our needs should be met. For many decades in the United States, young Muslim women had to come to stores like this one to buy modest clothing. Now, most of them refer to it as traditional or cultural clothing, and they buy it only for special occasions like weddings and parties. Changes happening as wearing a hijab becomes not only a religious obligation for Muslim women, but a fashion statement as well. Rosa Kazan, CCTV, Chicago.